it has returned kind of the wheel the steam speen wheel has returned um for those of you who don't know this is a segment where i play games that were relegated to my um steam library for years by the way most of which i didn't even know were in my inventory i had no idea that these existed until vincesity and my vetting team like went in there and took a look and was like oh you have these games there's a couple new ones including a couple that i found um but most of these are old games that were were already on my inventory now i've already done one segment like this so if you're ready we can begin spin uriel's chasm that's what we're starting with so here's the deal chat i'll play it but I'm going to play it for at least 10 minutes. Each game gets 10 minutes if I can make it that long. All right. Um, I'm going to try to go 10 minutes. If I can't, then I'll lower that to like five. Um, Vinny, you won't make it five. How about this? How about five minutes each? At least five before I can move on. Uh, if I'm actually getting entertainment value out of it, I'll play it longer, but at least five minutes per game. Okay. We're not going to get to all of these. I think chances are we'll get to a couple, but not all. This is notorious because it is considered one of the worst games on Steam. Hi, it's us again, Shovelware Queens. So, we found this old game, um, we vaguely remember buying it in the 90s. Oh, it sucked. Um, I'm not even sure how we got it, but I remember a joke we made about we coming down from space on an asteroid. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know, that's how the game started, chat. Enoch was translated, should not see death, it was not found. Um, uh, it's a, sh 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 I can't read this because the, the colors are hurting my brain. Uriel's Chasm. Press Z. Well, maybe it'll just be story for five minutes. I've been sleeping for three minutes. Fringes of the galaxy on a rescue mission. I'm here to investigate the disappearance of the great orbital monastery, Enoch's home. Today, I woke up to a kiss of teeth. Faith 100, Garden 100. Your faith must be greater than that of the garden. Mine asteroids to find faith. It is found by reading the Bible fragments. You can also find dimethyltryptamine. DMT for experimental mining laser. 
Beware Cherubium, but they will drop fuel on destruction. Is this message just always on the screen? So apparently Rev streamed this and said it was the worst game that he's already- he's ever streamed. And I already kind of understand. Read the Bible, do DMT. Is that what this game is trying to teach our kids? The Steam description says it's a religious deprogramming tool. You know what? As part of the Steam Spin feature, I will read the store page descriptions. I think that makes sense. I think I should do that. Well, there's the teeth. That's that's enemy bullet. But chat, why does it start with two fake YouTubers? You know what the thing is? This would normally, like, back in the day, be like lost media. But because of Steam, this will just be forever. On Steam, until it's removed for some reason, if it ever is. Vinny, read the reviews. Roger. Uh... I- I'm, uh, basically... dead in the water now. So when you run out of DMT, you can't shoot. That's the shoot. That's the shoot. It's a good thing I modified the 10 minute rule down to the 5 minute rule. We're about to hit 5 minutes. I don't have a strict timer, but I can see I started at 2.42. Now it's 2.47, so we're, we're about... We're about done here. What an interesting thing that is there. I don't, I don't know. Um, mostly negative, 240, uh, 64 reviews. Rev, here's a review from Rev. I've played a lot of bad games in my life, but none were so offensively bad that I felt like the creator was mocking me for owning it. Please do not buy this game ever for anyone, including yourself. I got it for free, but I still feel like I got ripped off. Please know, even if someone had paid me money, I would have felt like I got ripped off. That is the highest rated review, I think, for the game. Just about. Close to it. A um, couple more reviews. I bought this game just to see how bad it was. I mean, overwhelmingly negative is not a rating I see very often. Here are my thoughts. Here's what you're getting into if you play it. Dystopian space voyage through vaguely H.R. Geiger-themed terrain, Giger. A loop of 80 synth that will quickly begin to rot your soul. Neon colored, hard to read text, but very amateurish voice acting. Story of a nun on a mission to uncover the reason behind a galactic monastery's disappearance. A spaceship that uses hallucinogenic drug powered laser to mine Bible verses for meteorites. Um, no, the game is this game bad? No, not at all, considering the dozens of space shooters that demand your $5 without any sort of charm or originality. Um,. Hmm, okay. Someone else wrote, I wish I was stabbed to death instead of playing this game. What the fuck is that intro? <clears throat> oh, oh, from the long review. P.S. I got this game for 50 cents. If you paid more than that, disregard this entire review. You fucked up. That was from XXX420 Milf Hunter. 
Anyway, so um, let's continue Steam Spin, shall we? Cargol, the quest for gravity. It doesn't remove the entries. Hang on a minute, I have to fix that. Modify wheel. Advanced options, remove choice after it's landed. We will remove these choices now. Uriel and Cargol. And we will apply the changes to the wheel. Can't even find that one on Steam, says a chat member. It's possible that some of these are in my inventory and that the games themselves were removed from the store. Vinny, it's Cargo, not Cargol. Oh, it's Car... Huh? Well, chat... Look at how it's listed in my fucking... That's how it's listed. In my inventory, my library. I mean, maybe, yeah. It looks like... It's kind of a lame exclamation mark. I wonder if there's other exclamation marks I can compare it to. Yeah, no, that's just how Steam has it. Here's the description. Create crazy yet functional custom vehicles to solve missions with your own unique style. That doesn't sound terrible. Remember, with the wheel, some of the games could be kind of good. It's possible. The wheel does not discriminate. It's a little crusty. We'll do new game. Or maybe should I do sandbox? Alright, timer starting at 5.52. Uh, sorry, 2.52. What the fuck? Go down. It going to miss our landing. Slack the stay away. Drop anchor. Heave home. At least these Extend characters look better than that lower. Pokemon game. Go lower, I say. I can't go any lower. I need more weight. We have more weight than anybody. Get us down or I'll take the cockpit myself. I'd like to see you try. They've come out the green This time we've hit the jackpot. An offer like this comes once in a lifetime. We put all our savings into this trip. I'm work. confused. <laughs> okay, so the planet is falling. Banjo Kazooie music? The crash landing was a great success. Our finest, most important minds came to greet our honored guests. Yet somehow they miscalculated. Your position wasn't triangulated. You landed far from the festivities and made a horrible mess. But don't be sad. It's not that bad. Our little orchestra was running late and through a twist of fate. It's like little mini slob mini me's. We'll now sing a song for you. How glad we are you joined our were no humans left, at least that's what we were told. After they flew away and days of all came from the sky. 
I kind of want to see what the story is, or not the story, sorry, gameplay. Did they need to be naked, though? Buddies like to fly, don't worry if a buddy or two overreacts and explodes. They'll be back to party again as soon as you can erupt a volcano. Apparently the game is older than Skyrim, and is a wacky Russian Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. I'm, the message at the bottom told me to kick them. Yeah, people say this is pretty good. Music. I am Manifu, the creator, and your client. We cannot accept the reward. The cargo is only technically here. Look, but it's thinking it's on fire. That's My brain is question mark. She doesn't build or fix a thing, just kicks ass and chews gum. Come to think of it, we didn't need an engineer, we needed a plumber. A flood was on the agenda. And I am I can't Manny believe we got a Duke Nukem, and therefore they live reference. Three and one, and I agree to, to, to compromise, for I am so full of mercy. So be it. We, the demiurges of Earth, are ready to hire this engineer girl. Well, this is five minutes. What a surprise. They don't have any other candidates. Even if she only builds a I'm going to keep going for a little bit, though. be a half assed job. As a god, I could trust your word, but as a machine, I can't defy my program. Her first task will be to retrieve our sinking parts from the water. We will provide her with equipment. As a god, you <sighs> see, but as a machine. can only sell. You'll have to pay for the sale with fun. The gods won't give you anything for free, even if it hurts them in the long run. I, seriously, this Oompa music is like the Banjo-Kazooie thing is happening. In my brain, I'm thinking bears and birds. Closer, Flops. Behold, please go. For here we have Exhibit A, the sinkhole, the scientific marvel of our day. And A, the great. But when blowing the earth apart, the sinkhole sends more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I actually want to try to play the game, da -da, and that da -da. doesn't just mean, like, carrying a cockpit above my head. Throw shit in the hole for money. Da -da. Like this? Hope I didn't need that. <laughs> Why is 
going on? Buddy overboard. If they're sinking, you have to save them. There's one buddy currently drowning. I don't know how to save them. Oh, that's probably not the way to do that. That's fine, yeah. Do you just hear laughing the entire game? You run out of buddies, throw debris into the spe the hole. I can't lift this though. I'll just kick more buddies. Really easy to get stuck on stuff while you're while you're jumping. Oh look. A flying buddy. I did it. I don't even want to venture a guess as to what, like... What kind of stuff was in the mind of the creator. But... I feel like they got pretty close to their vision. Dimethyltryptamine. No, that was the previous game. Now you can repair the raft and fish out the rest of your precious cargo. Press B to tinker with the vehicle. Here we go. Um... That was a nice glitch. Fun scale, 1.2. Add new parts. Wow. I see. I did it. Vinny, you can make a lot of crazy shit later. I believe it! Yeah, you need to catch the wind. Is it fun, or does it play very generically? Um, I think it's really too early to say, like, this game has positive reviews, chat seems to like it. It, it seems to be a competent Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts type game, where you build wacky shit, and you use it, and you kick buddies. It's not anything particularly impressive, and when you jump, you can get stuck on the ledge. But I think I see why people like this. I think with enough time... With enough time, I can see uh, this turning into something interesting. You 
know, like stuff like this. It's kind of neat. Oh, oh, oh. You can collect buddies to make more money when they're on the buddy collector. You get more fun that way. They're having fun, and so are you. Obviously, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now, but apparently you can add rocket. Whoa. Oh, mo special motion devices. Reminds me of Besiege a little bit. Look how much buddy fun there could be here. How do I fly this thing? Arrow keys. So wait, arrow keys and WASD? That's a little weird. Big Ben. How does this thing not just spin out of control? If it's anything I've learned from Besiege, it's that this should be spinning out of control. Anyway, I think you got a good sampling of what that game is. It, actually, genuinely interesting. Cargo Quest for Gravity, and really weird, but fascinating. What's next? So many choices on the wheel. It's time to... Spin the wheel. Space Trader Merchant Marine. Space Trader Merchant Marine Store Page Space Trader is an open world trading colony sim wrapped in a shooter. Okay. Start as a rookie and earn your way to master using shrewd trades, back alley deals, bribes, and well placed bullet. Buy low, sell high, don't take no for an answer. That's a lot of different things. So the game just, like, crashed. Some stuff. And is the delay on your voice still there from the Game Boy Camera segment? Yep, it is. Thank you for reminding me. It's better now.
I don't know if I'll be able to play this game. It's in a weird window that just keeps crashing. And it crashed my volume. My uh, volume mixer. Which is new. I've never seen that before. No bueno, chat. Sorry. That one's a bust. Um, if you want, though, we can take a quick look at it. It's from 2008, which may have something to do with it, but just to get an idea of the crustiness of the 2008 game, it's got mixed reviews, but Game Focus gave it 89%, so they have that right on the, on the, on the logo, in fact. So, um, not really much to talk about because I can't play it. But you can see that it looks like a game. I still don't know which genre it mainly is. It just seems to be a big mishmash of whatever the fuck. But it's mixed. And it crashes. I'll try one more time. Nope. Immediate crash. Okay. Next. All right, it's time to make the wheel go round. Amazing frog! I mean, amazing frog? Now, I've played this on the Ouya of all places. Amazing frog... I haven't played in years, though, so I don't know how amazing this frog is, but <clears throat> it says here, Amazing Frog is a hardcore parkour open world buffet of bonkers physics sandboxness. All right. Okay, I have my controller. So, yeah, I played a really really early version of this years ago on like i said the ouya of all places but Got them resolutions coming up here chat don't worry we're gonna get 1080p it's gonna be great there it is welcome to v3 of the new amazing frog something was built it was built from the ground up Great. They ruined the game on the build. The community hates it. Wait, what? Really? How could you hate Amazing Frog? I just saw the frog's brain. So, good start. Oh yeah, this does look different. What? So what do I do? Do I... <laughs> I remember there was like some kind of score mode at one point. You ragdoll on command and that's about it. It's the kind of game that's better with friends. It's like Goat Simulator. Yeah. 
Goat Simulator is fun. <laughs> it's like... The world is really empty. I get that it's probably better with friends, but it feels like the world is massive and there's nothing to do. I, I remember earlier builds, there was probably... Like, I think I, when I played it last, there was a, like... And again, this goes back like seven years. There's a lot more shit to do. This new version has nothing. V2 has tons. Can I roll back to V2? Because there was an intro message that said something about V2. The fucking bouncy castle's not even bouncy. I mean, barely. It's not that good of a time, chat. Why would they kill Amazing Frog like this? Also, isn't this like the default Unity run animation? I'm gonna try V2. V has come too. Uh, let me just go over that fan real quick. It feels haunted. It really does. Can you get a refund eight years later or so? Seven years later? What a shame. They killed Amazing Frog. I can't believe it. Elizarin sent it to me? Why? Why? Legacy V2. There's an option. So this is the older version of Amazing Frog. Maybe this one will be better. It is lagging my mouse, so that's a good sign. All right, chat, here we go. Jump to continue. This is it. Amazing Frog. Phase you game. Yo, there's a phone? The only difference is that this frog doesn't have a brain. Like, you can't see in the, the frog's, like, skull. Slappin's louder, too. Look at how they massacre my frog. Well, I mean, I think it's locked to 30 FPS. It just feels like version 3 isn't done yet, because there's, like, NPCs here. <sighs> Yo, 
you can bring frogs with you. <laughs> yeah, well, this is better. I mean, slightly. <laughs> There's just more stuff to do, and it's just like the- even the ragdoll, you can like actually move around while you're ragdolled, you can fart better. Choker frog. Please stop. Please stop. It's just too easy to rag. What the fuck is your major malfunction? That's my crown now. Oh my god. It's really not as easy as I, as it should be. All oh right, it's it's British. Content rich. Hello, everybody. Want to introduce you to the new Joker? It's still a very frustrating game to play. I mean, it's supposed to be, but I would imagine... ...that V3 would fix all of this, but it also was very frustrating to play. Next, please. Yeah, but don't you want to hear the frog... ...like, feet slap on that concrete? Much better bouncy castle. What could go wrong? Strong frog, by the way. Can't walk up there. You can only ragdoll up there.
How do you yeet? Is there a yeet button? Yeah, I don't know, man. Amazing camera for this, by the way. It was Joker Frog again. Okay, chat, I think I've had enough of this game. And yet, it's really hard to put down. Keep slapping. Alright, one more vehicle. Joker frog again. What is going on? This is really slow. It's going to be a trailer for the new Joker movie whenever there's a new one. We live in a society where the frogs chase the dogs. allowed to do this like what is propelling me and joker frog I think I want to leave that on the, uh, the wheel, so that one day I can return to it. We could probably do one or two more. So let's spin! Gasp. Okay, this game... Amazing Frog is still running, even though I've told it to stop running. It's just, it's running. The frog is running and slapping those feet down on that concrete still. 
quality. All right. Um, Gasp, it says here, this game takes place in the same universe as our upcoming title, Secluded. You take control of a lone astronaut that lands on the surface of a planet miles away from other members. It's your job to meet up with the other astronauts. Mostly negative out of 1,500 reviews. And... Huh. 2015 video game right here, chat. It is 3.30 a.m., so five minutes are on the clock. Unlock Mars by grabbing the DLC. This game is not designed to hold your hand. Once you die, then you die. Hello? Respond. Are you okay? Hello? Respond. Look, it seems communications are down on your end. But we can see you are receiving us just fine. I guess for now I'll guide you to the other team members. It seems your capsule crash landed miles from the LZ. You oh. need to meet up with the other. I hate that noise. LZ. Chat, I have to go into full screen mode because the game is all kinds of fucked up right now. Also, a game that doesn't close when you tell it to. The mouse was not locked inside the window, so. Well, this is weird. I can't even reload the game. What the hell is the name of it? I don't know the name of it. Ch Chad, how do I find it? Once you die, you die. Um... Is there a way in Task Manager to find something like this? Let's see, memory usage. Mm. Sort by name. It's not there. I just checked by name. Check details. Yep, it was in details. Weird. What a good start. Try again. This time I'll do full screen so the, the mouse can't get locked out of anything. It's now 3.33, so we're resetting the timer. The respond. mouse is still not locked in. Go okay? fuck yourself, game. Hello? Respond. Look, it seems communications are down on your I had to just disable you, you seeing the mouse. Us just fine. I guess for now I'll guide you to the other team members. It seems your capsule crash landed miles from the LZ. You need to meet up with the others before your O2 runs low. Your HUD should be live and tracking the GPS signal on the other members. Good shadows. Hmm. Mm. It seems to be showing five. It's a bit weird. It's very cyberpunkian. There must be a glitch in your visor. We're unsure which is the right signal. You're gonna have to choose one and hope for the best. Your O2 tank wasn't built for long surface trips, so you only get one chance to choose. Because I don't think the oxygen will hold out long, so you better hurry. Good luck, sir. We're all praying for you. <laughs> Some of the worst sound effects. Um, so, so yeah, this is really hard to look at. This bobbing animation, this is view bob, very bad. What the fuck did... Like an asteroid just... Crash into me perfectly with pinpoint accuracy?
This is what it was like when the astronauts went to the moon. They had to dodge to the asteroids. <laughs> they were being hurtled at them by Zeus. Two minutes in. Got three more minutes. So, chat, do you notice how slow those numbers are going down and how far away they are? Every now and then I just randomly take damage, and then I realize it's probably a fucking asteroid. Two minutes. That's as high as you can jump. One minute. No, wait, not yet. This game does not hold your hand. You die, you fucking die in real life. Sick, bro, sick. Bit. Dave bit. Dave posted it. One minute remaining. This game does not hold your hand. You motherfucker, you die, you start from beginning, you have to choose new signal. New signal. It takes 15 fucking minutes by foot to get to new signal. After that, you fucking die. Each signal is death. Meteor crash into your cock. You die. Congratulations, each meteor has death poison. You get to signal, nothing is dead. You have to start over random. Fuck you. Chat, there's a signal 500 meters away. The question is, do I, wa do I waste your time and mine? It's been five minutes. Chat saying no. I am saying yes. We're almost there, chat. It's been a long time. But my time is finally here. I like when, um, data in one of the episodes of Enterprise, Brent Spiner, he says, you know, Captain, it's been a I wish I could say it's been a long road. And then he looks at the camera, he winks, he smiles, and then he holds up some Crest toothpaste and he tries to sell you this toothpaste live in the episode. I couldn't believe it. Well, I have a minty fresh smile. That's why I recommend Enterprise brand of Crest. Crelm toothpaste. 160 meters now, chat. 150. 
Now, just keep in mind, there's a signal that's 3,000 meters away. So now we get to find out. By seeing this one signal, we might be able to know what is at the other signals. It'll be nothing and you know it. I do know it. You're right. So how do I interact with it? Please meet your god, kill me. Please fucking destroy me. Obliterate. I I wish to I wish to cease my existence. Please. Please. This is this is a game that trolls you. You didn't grab the toolkit near the spawn point. I don't believe that. Do you want to spin the wheel one more time? I'll give you a guaranteed five minutes. Let's do it one more time, chat. Here it is. Final spin. That was really bad. Final spin of the night is Wildlife Park 2 Horses. Okay, Wildlife Park 2 Horses. It says here, mostly positive, 58 reviews, horse simulation with 16 breeds of horses and varied missions. Game from 2007. By the way, horse simulation is all one word. I know a lot about horses. I remember, I have horse trading cards. The game may not work. Hmm. Something's happening. I see like a little loading thing. Still going. Vinny, someone said it's DLC. Well, why would they let me download the DLC without playing the game? Or with, like, wait. No. Not working. And I have to task manager exit the game because it is poop. Let's take a look. Wildlife Park 2 Horses. Um, it says I can still buy the game. Oh, wait. It's in your Steam library. Um, Ultimate Edition. Um... Can confirm it's DLC. So what do I need to play this? Wildlife Park 2? God damn it, chat. All right, I'll add it to the... I'll add it. It's $6. I have to think about this. I'm not going to respin because now it's too late. But I want you to see the video for Wildlife Park from 2006.
This has a mixed review, but Horses is mostly positive. I mean, yeah, it's like just a crusty version. It's an old crusty version of Planet Zoo or Zoo Tycoon or whatever. It doesn't look too bad, I mean... You know, there's there's some stuff going on here. You take care of zoo animals, you place them down. There's horses, there's sharks. You can be a Tiger King. How about this? Instead of me playing another game, like one that I can't play, that still launches but won't actually play, I'm gonna read some reviews of Gasp. Hello? No. Okay, here we go. Couple quick reviews. One hour on record from Mr. Drugman. Top review. Waddle like a penguin for two kilometers and get pelted by harmless asteroids until you hit an invisible wall 1500 meters from the objective. Recommended. How can you hate a game that's free? I didn't think it was possible until now, but let me tell you, if you have the desire to get a root canal, play this instead. It's all the pain, except this is free. That's the review. That's the whole review. Not recommended. Honestly, 10 out of 10, best game I've ever played. Uh, 144p graphics, gameplay is hype. Too hard, no one ever won. I don't really want to be harsh. It's a well done game for a first ever game as a developer, but it would be very nice if the graphics weren't so blurry. Also, it would make it way better if you could just add a rover to the game so you don't have to walk 30 miles to not even interactable unknown signal thing you come up to. And at least the one I went to, I couldn't figure out how to interact with it. Yeah, same. Well, that's constructive criticism. Um, Wander around for 15 minutes until you hit an invisible wall. Unfinished. This appeals to my masochistic tendencies. Recommended. This game will make you gasp in boredom. Alright. Well, that's Steam Spin for now. There's more. Corvus just sent me... A game. Please don't send me games, chat. Fart Simulator 2018. I guess I have to accept it. All right. Well, there you go. I might get the horses game. But there will be more. Yeah, it could be added to the wheel. There will be more wheel. There will be more wheel. But thank you for watching, chat. It was really fun. Um, I hope you all have a good night. I'm going to do art in just a second. But first, nightmares. I'm sorry.